In 2013, a small asteroid uh, uh, came and hit the Earth uh, near the Russian town of Chelyabinsk. Now, fortunately, it came in at a very shallow angle. It came in only about 18 degrees off the horizon. And as a result, when it hit the atmosphere, it, a little bit like skipping a, a stone on a pond, it stayed up in the atmosphere. But it had a, a power of several hundred times the Hiroshima nuclear bomb. It broke a million windows. It sent like a thousand people to the hospital for various injuries. If that had come in on a much steeper angle, it, it could have killed a million people. Um, in 1908, there was another uh, impact. This happened in a place called Tunguska uh, in Russian Siberia. And it devastated somewhere between 250 and 500 square miles. Uh, total destruction. Now at the time, the only people that were there were some uh, migratory uh, reindeer herders. And so, and also in 1908, Russia was in the middle of going through a series of revolutions that would create uh, the USSR. And as a result, it was never properly studied. If Kanguska had hit just a couple hours different time, plus or minus, it would have hit in North America or Europe or the populated parts of Asia. And if that had happened, it would have been an enormously traumatic event. It could have killed millions of people. And even if it didn't kill them, the devastation would have been shocking. So if you imagine an alternate universe where Tunguska hit in a more important place, the whole 20th century would have been about, oh my God, we have this risk from the skies. Instead, as luck would have it, uh, Tunguska hit in the most ignorable spot on Earth. Um, in fact, I, I argue if it actually hit the Atlantic or Pacific Oceans, we would have known a lot more about it. It would have destroyed a bunch of ships at sea. There would have been a, a bit of a tsunami. Uh, a whole lot of things would have drawn our attention. Instead, it hit in the most ignorable spot on Earth. Um, it, we can't afford to have these things sneak up on us like that. And with LSST, there's an excellent chance that we will map uh, asteroids that could hit Earth.